This is the day. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. May I invite you to prayer. Gracious God, the excitement and joy of this day surrounds us. The emotions of laughter and tears are right at the surface. How long we have prepared for this hour. Help us remember that it is not within our own doing that brings us here, but only through your love and grace. Your love has been present in your word and in the words and acts of so many encouragers in our lives. For this we give you thanks. Teach us to walk gently in your path of love, seeking justice, making peace, cherishing the resources of the earth and one another. Enliven our imaginations that we may see through the mystery of each of our days to a future newness. We ask you to empower our speakers with your guiding spirit. Be with their words and thoughts and help us give you praise in all we do and say as we gather in this time together. Through Christ we pray. Amen. You may be seated. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, administration, and the class of 2001, I welcome parents, families, and our friends to this commencement ceremony of Buena Vista University. I'm pleased to be joined on the platform by a colleague of mine on the Board of Trustees, Mark Brinkmeyer. Mark is the owner and chief executive officer of the Riley Creek Lumber Company in Lac Lead, Idaho, and a 1968 graduate of Buena Vista University. Mark will have the pleasure of presenting his cousin, Kirsten, her diploma. We especially welcome our honorary degree recipients, Dennis Dykema and Mac Horniker, and look forward to their commencement addresses. To the graduates, you have passed through an arch which symbolizes your entry into a world that needs your good ideas, your hard work, and your leadership. With the education that you have received and will continue to receive throughout your life, you are prepared for new challenges and new adventures. You have our very best wishes for a life filled with health, happiness, success, and service. For the past 30 years, Dennis Dykema and Mac Horniker have been art at Buena Vista University. Together they have taught, educated, trained, and inspired both their students and members of the wider university community. They are active, creative artists who exhibit their work regionally, nationally, and internationally. Their approaches to art are different and complementary. Mac with his massive thought-provoking sculpture and Dennis with his classic and pure lines of both ceramics and paintings. Together, they have given art an exciting and a living presence on this campus. Their work of 30 years, the work of their students, and the work of many professional artists saturates this campus, giving it an artistic sophistication rarely equaled in a small university. Please join me in welcoming this dynamic duo the art dynasty of Buena Vista University, Professor Dennis Dykema and Professor Mac Horniker. Thank you, Don. Pleasure.
We've had lots of suggestions for how we might present our comments here today. Uh, one of the things we do well in our classes is a kind of Siskel and Ebert thing, uh, but we didn't think that would be appropriate for today. We just this morning decided that we would go alphabetically, so I guess I'm the first. From John Irving's book, The Hotel New Hampshire, men over 40 learn to close softly doors to the rooms they'll not be coming back to. Greetings to the friends and families of the graduates, and greetings to the graduates of 2001. Congratulations on your accomplishment. You have fulfilled seemingly endless requirements in the past four years. You've achieved successes you never thought possible, enduring 8 a.m. classes and classes that ended at 10 p.m. You've made lifelong friendships and may have even made, become friends with a professor or two. Along the way, you've overcome seemingly impossible obstacles, researched the most obscure topics, and have assimilated volumes of both useful and useless information. You are not the weakest link. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire doesn't get interesting to you until the $32,000 level. And you laugh at one-liners like, does the name Pavlov ring a bell? Or, Narcissus, just look at you. <laughs> Indeed, you have a right to be proud of your accomplishment, and for our part, my colleagues and I salute you. We share your pride, for it is as thrilling for us to celebrate this day as it is for you. For all this, you are about to become a Buena Vista graduate, and those letters after your name will mark you as indelibly as that tattoo. As a commencement speaker, it's my duty to impart the last few bits of information and advice. You may have missed a point or two along the way, so I'll try to fill in the few things that may have escaped you and perhaps mix in a bit of advice to send you off. I've come up with 14 things. Of course, there could be many more. I don't know why 14. It just seemed like a good place to end. Number one, creativity is more important than intelligence. Albert Einstein said that, but I don't think he meant that creativity should be a substitute for intelligence. Number two, a duck's quack doesn't echo. I have no further comment on that. Number three, <laughs> you should not confuse your career with your life. A career may be part of your life, but it doesn't define it, and it shouldn't consume it. Number four, take control of your time. Believe me, I've observed how you do that, and few of you really know how to do it. You call it time management. I call it scheduled chaos. <laughs> if there isn't room for a serene center in your life, you don't have control of your time. Number five, never under any circumstances take a sleeping pill and a laxative on the same night. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience. <laughs> Even if you have to trick yourself into believing it, you have to live a life that is happy. Not the frivolous delirium that comes from goofing off, but the happiness that comes from living a rich and thought-filled life, the life of the mind. Wouldn't it be better if people remember you for who you are and what you think, rather than what your title might be or the size of your portfolio? Robert Waller author of The Bridges of Madison County, spoke here at commencement several years ago. And in an otherwise forgetful presentation, he did mention <laughs> a bit of advice, and that was, do what it is that you do, do it the best you can, and leave it at that. He should have sat down then, but he didn't. <laughs> Number seven. A pregnant goldfish is called a twit. You science people might find that interesting. Number eight, it's better to have a few close friends than many casual acquaintances. Be careful of who these friends are and where you find them. They must be people who are inclined to build up rather than drag down, and they should bring out the good side in you. 
You will find them in places where you will also find enjoyment and fulfillment. Remember, you can't be on spring break and go to singles bars for the rest of your life. Number nine, be skeptical of anything advertised as a totally unique concept. It will never be any of those. Number 10, more workers lose their jobs because they can't get along with their colleagues and for any other reason. Choose your battles wisely. Examine every issue from another person's point of view. Never write an angry letter of protest to your supervisor. It will probably be seen as insubordination. And if you're going to be insubordinate, it's much better to do that face to face. That way you'll rob your superiors of the time they might like to have to secretly plan their revenge. <laughs> Number 11, the fingerprints of a koala bear are virtually indistinguishable from those of humans. This might be a good thing to remember if you're ever in trouble with the law. <laughs> Number 12, when trouble arises and things look bad, there is always one individual who perceives the perfect solution and is willing to take command. Very often that person is crazy. <laughs> you should do your best to distract them. <laughs> Number 13, don't lick the steak knife. <laughs> Number 14, Number 14 is about your future. Four years ago you had only the foggiest notion of who you'd be today. And you can't know who you'll be four or 10 or 20 years from now. I know I couldn't have imagined the artist or the teacher that I would become. And I can't think of a better place for that to have happened to me. And looking back on it from this vantage point, it is astonishing to me that I made it this far. And I am pleased that I've been able to do that. Two weeks ago, my dean gave me a scrapbook that had been filled with letters of congratulations from my former students. The eloquent outpouring of pride in their accomplishment and praise for the small part that I played in that was overwhelming. And as I sat in my office choking back the tears, I realized then what I've known all along, that in the grand scheme of it all, I've really gotten more than I've given. I hope that all of you are so fortunate. This is a bittersweet time for us all, the sweet serenity of the memories and the friends who have helped to make them, and the bitterness of the sense that something is about to slip away. Those are the feelings we're having today. I've spent half my life at this place, and though you've spent a much smaller percentage of your lives, right now the fullness of it all ought to make it seem like much, much more. The bitterness and sadness is especially close to us this year for the tragedies that have struck so many who are so dear to us. It makes us all wonder what divine plan we must follow and by what means we can move on. But move on we must. And you know that forward is the only direction we can go. And how we do that will be the test of our mettle. Should we go more carefully or less? Should we be more thoughtful? or more impulsive, more patient or less, more tolerant or more resolute, more dedicated or more carefree, more concerned for ourselves or more selfless. The answers to those questions are already inside your hearts and will be evident soon enough as you do what we have tried to prepare you to do to live a life. Thank you. Well, I just want to tell a story. As you can tell, I'm leaving my southern accent to Buena Vista College for Dr. President Fred Brown has to keep with this continuation of this southern accent going on, so I'm going to say, how are you all doing? Anyway, this is a story about a man named George. This guy thought he was a horse. He uh, didn't find employment anywhere, there weren't any jobs, so he devised a way to make a living as a horse, and he went around from town to town uh, bucking people off. 
And he would usually go into a crowd of usually young, smart aleck know-it-alls and bet them that they couldn't ride him. And so there was always someone willing to take the challenge. So George was a little guy. He was getting sort of old, sort of gray and partially bald, had a little twinkle in his eye. And he had taken his saddle and he had girthed that saddle around him. He nailed horseshoes to the bottom of his boots. He had carved some wooden pegs he held in the palm of his hands. And he'd get on all fours. Those guys would ease in the saddle. He'd slip that bit in his mouth. And man, the ride was on. He was never rode. He was the best. No one ever rode George. And usually when the dust sort of settled, you know, George was on all fours, he'd look around and just give a little Al Baxter giggle to these guys. Just sort of, <laughs> sort of showed you. Anyway, George, uh, you know, he didn't make a lot of money of this. He didn't mean much. He lived in a cave on a bluff above a creek. And in this cave, all he had was a table and a couple of chairs. He had a little wood cook stove and a bed. And he shared his cave with about four or five dogs, uh, sort of questionable heritage dogs. In the South, we call them cur dogs. That means they aren't a coon dog. And uh, he had a few chickens that he would trade and, and eat some eggs and stuff. But so that's the way George lived. One hot, breathless August afternoon, George was going home from the county fair. He had taken on a whole bunch of riders that day, and it was extremely hot. There was dust just hanging by the dirt road there from a car, you know, that had gone by a long time before. But George was just sort of trudging along. He had customized this harness for himself, and he had this wagon. He carried his saddle and his stuff in and some trading goods and whatever George needed, thought he needed for the trip. And those dogs, they were just sort of walking in the shade of the wagon. It was hot. Their tongues were hanging out. And on the sideboards of the wagon, he had some chickens sitting on there. And these chickens' legs were tied with a one leather shoestring so they wouldn't fly away. You know, the chickens get restless. And they were all had their wings out and they were panning away. And it was about eight miles back to George's cave from the county fair. And he, pulled up on this old wooden bridge, and you could hear his horseshoes sort of clacking along there, and stopped to rest. Big tree, it was hot. All the dogs went down in the creek, and they were all sprawled out, laying there drinking and a panting and a drinking and a panting, and chickens, they were just sitting on the sideboards. Pretty soon, get up. And George started on across that bridge. On the other side was a big hill. About halfway up the hill, old George balked. And, you know, it was typical of people driving horses. They started getting a little loud and swearing a little bit. George nickered and pulled on the ground a little bit. Wasn't doing much. And the guy kept getting louder. And everyone heard the commotion, went running over to see what was going on. About that time, George just unhitched himself, dropped the harness on the ground, went back to the back of the wagon and pulled out an ax. Walked over to the side of the road and cut a little sapling. Put the axe back in the wagon, took out his pocket knife, and sort of peeled off those limbs and peeled that bark on that thing. Hitched himself back up, said get up, and whipped himself over the hill. Now, a lot of people say George was crazy. Now, I've even heard him say crazier than a pet coon. But, you know, the question is, is George crazy, or was he just doing what he had to do? Who's going to pull the wagon over the hill? So George became a legend in our neighborhood because he had total control. He was the best that ever been. Someday, I want to take you down to the bluff. There's still marks on the rocks made by his horseshoes. I guess that's the end of my comments. You know, people are going to think you're crazy sometimes, but make your mark. Thank you.
Though Dennis Dykema has remained physically close to Worthington, Minnesota, where he was born, he has had a life quite different from what he envisioned for himself growing up on a farm in southwestern Minnesota. Dykema was a junior high school science teacher in Sioux Center, Iowa, when he made the courageous decision to abandon the career he had trained for and return to school to pursue a degree in art, the field he loved. He first took undergraduate courses in art at Morningside College and then went on to earn a Master of Arts degree in painting from the University of Northern Iowa in 1970. He taught junior high and high school art before settling in the art department at Buena Vista University. During his years here, Dykema has been an outstanding and popular teacher as well as an active and productive artist. His early focus on ceramics has been steadily evolving into an emphasis on painting. He has exhibited extensively throughout the Midwest and further afield in places like Washington, D.C. and Swaziland. His challenging and sweeping landscapes are represented in a number of public and corporate collections, such as the Principal Financial Group, Farm Bureau Insurance, and University of Iowa Hospitals, to name just a few. Dykema's work as an artist and teacher has been enhanced by his travels. He has led Buena Vista University students to Europe on nine separate occasions. These trips have fueled Dykema's interest in art history and infused his campus courses with the richness of the art treasures he has experienced firsthand during these trips. And the students Dykema has traveled with have seen the art of Europe through his eyes. His enthusiasm is contagious. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, administration, and board of trustees of Buena Vista University, it is an honor to recommend Dennis Dykema for the degree Doctor of Fine Arts Honoris Causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Buena Vista University, I do hereby confer on you, Dennis Dykema, the degree Doctor of Fine Arts, with all the honors, privileges, and responsibility thereunto pertaining. Walk across our campus, and you will be greeted with massive steel sculpts that are built upon and emanate from rocks that really aren't rocks. The size and the graceful lines of these pieces is remarkable. They are hard and rigid, and yet within them there is a sense of humor and a depth of human experience that draws observers closer. These gigantic pieces are the work of artist and professor Mac Horniker. Mac's life began in Sheldon, Missouri, in a humble home where Mac was raised by his sisters and his father. The lessons learned about the critters in the hollers and the benefits of hard work have followed Mac throughout his life. After receiving his Bachelor of Fine Arts from the Kansas City Art Institute and School of Design in 1968, Mack continued his education at the University of Oklahoma, where he was granted a Master of Fine Arts in 1970. His career at BV began in 1971. Teaching art and doing art are two different things, and Mack does both of them very well. As a teacher, Mack has spent the past 30 years coaxing his students to express themselves to put their thoughts and emotions into substance and then present it to the world. And he's been successful. His students have gone on to work in galleries and schools of art around the nation. And recently they honored him with a show that demonstrated the breadth and depth of his impact on their lives. As an artist, Mac has developed a regional reputation that is growing into a ra national recognition. His pieces are found in over 30 public collections and numerous private collections. He has gallery affiliations in four Midwestern states in Washington, D.C., and he is a frequent participant in exhibitions. Mac Horniker has given his entire life to the creation of art 
and the encouragement of others to do the same, he exemplifies what it means to be a college professor. Mr. President, on the behalf of the faculty, administration, and board of trustees of Univista University, it is an honor to recommend that Mr. Mac Horniker be given the, doctor of, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters honoris causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Univista University, I do hereby confer on you, Mac Horniker, the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts with all the honors, privileges, and responsibility thereunto pertaining. I'd like to now introduce graduates Andrew Borst and Nicole Farr, co-chairs for the Storm Lake Senior Class Gift Campaign. Since its inception in 1991, the Senior Class Gift has been an opportunity for seniors to take a final look back over our years at BVU and the wonderful opportunities we have enjoyed. The Senior Class Gift is also an opportunity for us to continue our relationship with Buena Vista University and to support the students who will follow. On behalf of the class of 2001, we are pleased to announce that the Storm Lake graduating class has raised $4,000 in pledges to BVU. The money raised will go to various programs and projects with over half of the money going to help fund the construction of a team development course here on the Storm Lake campus. This course will help members of organizations on campus and off to come together as a team by working through different obstacles such as a climbing wall and low and high elements. Working as a team has always been important to the members of the class of 2001. We thought this would be a wonderful legacy for our class to leave to the BVU community. We also want to say thank you to all those who made a pledge to the 2001 Senior Class Gift. Our memories as well as our efforts will be remembered for years to come. Thank you. Thank you very much. As the candidates for graduation come forward to receive their degrees, we do ask parents and friends to remain in their seats until the end of the ceremony. Would the class of 2001 please stand? <laughs> Mr. President, as of this day, or as of August 2001, these students have fulfilled the requirements for graduation as specified by the faculty, administration, and board of trustees, and as certified by the registrar of Buena Vista University. They are eligible for the Master of Science in Education, the Bachelor's Degree of Science, or the Bachelor's Degree of Art, this 20th day of May, 2001. Mr. President, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2001. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Buena Vista University, I do hereby confer on you the degree of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, and Master of Science in Education with all the honors, privileges, and responsibility thereunto pertaining. Wendy A. Anderson.
Karen R. Acer. Julie Ann Astor. Deborah R. Bagenstros. Donna Jean Rathburn Ball. Jamie E. Brawl. Andrea Dawn Nelson Danker. Daryl Grant DeRider. Lisa J. Elliott. Cynthia Ann Gello. David Lynn Hackbarth. Alan Scott Henderson. Marsha L. Ingram. Paul James Jacobson. Bonnie S. Fendrick Jordan. Timothy G. Keel. Melissa K. Harms McGuire. Brent Robert Meyer. Christine Meyerwald Meyer. Donna S. Muscle. Kevin F. Rang. Dan L. Rosucker. Danielle K. Trimble. Angela R. Blount Utley. Okay, the Storm Lake, Harold Walter Sieben School of Business, Elvir Alachik. Courtney Ann Anderson, magna cum laude. Brian D. Baggett. Laura Caroline Barkama. Denise Eileen Gaber Bibi summa cum laude. Gregory Coleman Bell. Sheila Marie Bolt. Jamie L. Bosher. Kurt Michael Bausted. Cast Kasten Brinkmeyer. We're going to hold it. Timothy Adam Bright. Sarah Marie Childress. Sarah Lynn Hobbin Cork. Jessica Elizabeth Davis. Stephen Jeffrey Davis. Kimberly Ann Dentlinger. Michael Eugene Edmondson. Anne Louise Ellis. Nicole Marie Farr. Nathan Dale Fichter. Colin J. Flynn, summa cum laude. Jamie Ann Fox, magna cum laude. Katie Marie Galloway. John Robert G. Stacy Ann Halber, summa cum laude. Nathan C. Harrington. Mandy Jean Henderson. Melinda Ann Horstman. <laughs> Bo Timothy Hupke. Elizabeth Houston. Tish Ann Marie Jepson. Elizabeth Ann Kelly, magna cum laude. Jill Marie Claver Went. Chad Daniel Lefebvre. Carl Lee Larson. 
Travis John Loudner. Jovin Loster, cum laude. Tara Jean Lindemann, cum laude. Barry Lee Lucktell. Philip Allen Lundberg, magna cum laude. Christopher Lee Mart. John Dennis Moeller. Matthew Patrick McNeil. Colleen Carol Monahan. Joshua Joseph Mulbauer. Krista Joellen Nyby. Ryan J. Owen. Amanda Elizabeth Russell. Matthew T. Sage. Katie Michelle Sailors, cum laude. James Kenneth Santee, magna cum laude. Eric John Shabel. Louise M. Schmeling. Brandy Ann Schmidt. Aaron James Schopp. Molly Ann Schuler. Kristen Ann Siebenbrenner, cum laude. Brett Anthony Smith. Meredith K. Steen. Jeff Michael Steinkamp, summa cum laude. Sarah Ann Steinkamp, summa cum laude. Nolan K. Stribe, summa cum laude. Catherine Ann Sutton. Tracy Ann Tamas. Amy Elizabeth Tyndall. Tara K. Truitt. Corey Matthew Turner. Disoko Disakyama. Mark Evan Van Beek. Emily Jo Varelman. Jennifer Marie Vogel. Jacob Lucas Volertson, magna cum laude. Jacob Russell Wagner. Brian Nicholas Weber. Russell Leo Weiss. Joshua Richard Wig. Lori Ann Wilson. The Storm Lake School of Social Science, Philosophy, and Religion. Jennifer K. Bishop. Julie Renee Blodgett, summa cum laude. Becky Jo Bouvie. Ryan Richard Brandt. Cass Lee Burkhart, cum laude. Jessica Lynn Cummins. Jill M. Dershide, cum laude. David Marcus Dobell. Kirsten Jean Doble, cum laude. Tiffany Marie Drayton. Joseph Emil Dusing. Lana Jolene Ebnett. Sherry May Fairman. Cassie Marie Forky. Carla K. Friesen, magna cum laude. Angela Renee Fry, summa cum laude. Jenny Rogers Gano. Alicia K. Goodwin. Angela Dawn Gronberg, magna cum laude. Paul A. Godet, cum laude. Sean Duane Harker. Gina Marie Heller. <laughs> Thomas A. Kirst. Nathan Michael Klingmeyer. Heath Allen LaFriends. Ellen Marie Larson, summa cum laude. Stephanie Marie Leonard. Jason E. McLeod. Wade William McEnroy. Heidi Marie Marshall. Daisha K. Newhouse. Matthew Jacob Novak, magna cum laude. Matthew Scott Piffin. Daniel Brian Reingens, summa cum laude. Molly Ann Rochefort. Christina L. Schroud. Benjamin John Smith, magna cum laude. Andrea Lynn Wendt Taylor. 
Amber Ray Titterington. Christine Marie Tracy. Ryan Keith Velboom. Charlene Thane Weaver, magna cum laude. James Thomas Wernemont. Jesse Blue Jekyll Weiss. Naomi Christine Ziller, magna cum laude. From the Storm Lake School of Education, Demir Andrei. Andrasi. Nathan Harvey Barron. Rodney Michael Bender. Elizabeth Michelle Borkowski. Charles Martin Bauer, magna cum laude. Jared John Burns. Savan Michael Cole. Sarah Marie Chrisman, cum laude. Jamie Lee Davis. Elizabeth A. Miller, Ann. Katie Noel Ingdahl. Jessica Rose Engler. Anne-Marie Fagan, cum laude. Megan Jo Fletcher. Amy Sue Hoffmeyer Forbes, cum laude. David Lee Furler. Jody Lynn Garrels, magna cum laude. Stephen Richard Glenn. Adam Robert Gordon. Lindsay Marie Hansen, cum laude. Kinsey Lynn Hansen, magna cum laude. Thomas Jeffrey Harskamp. Carrie Sue Hartman. Kurt Nathan Hemmingson. Troy Joseph Henrich. Michelle Joy Hummel. Kimberly Marie Hussey, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Thomas Jacobson, cum laude. Rebecca Ray Hoffmeyer Jepson, magna cum laude. Tanda Lynn Kobriger, cum laude. Jennifer Marie Long, cum laude. Melissa Jane Heinland. Paul Leroy Matthew. Brenda Ann McLaren. Marcy Ann Messerly, cum laude. Amanda Jean Nelson, magna cum laude. Melissa K. Kelly Nelson, magna cum laude. Chad Eric Niehaus, cum laude. Mark Davis Nutter. Michael Joseph Petticord. Anna Maria Davis Phillips. Christopher Lee Reinhardt. Amber Renee Reverts, magna cum laude. Scott Olin Richmond. Jared Anthony Robertson, cum laude. Aaron L. Shellhorn. Kelly Charlene Simpson, cum laude. Ryan Richard Spiegel. Sarah Ann Springman, cum laude. Jessica Lynn Still, cum laude. Brett Michael Strzok, cum laude. Christy Jean Salazar Tenkley. Amber Lee Thomas. Michael Ray Thomas. Rodney David Thomas. Nicholas Joe Winters. The Storm Lake School of Communication and Arts, Abram Daniel Anders, summa cum laude. April Renee Anderson. Kelly Lynn Ballantyne, magna cum laude. David Boyer, magna cum laude. Kathleen Ann Bryce, cum laude. Sarah Lynn Carlson. Carrie Jean Carr. Carrie Lynn Clark, summa cum laude. Aaron Ruth Cross, magna cum laude. Grant Jacob Cushman. Janelle Ray Denblaker. Jagrudi Desai. 
Christine Sue Helena Dirk Schneider, summa cum laude. Jonathan Ryan Fick. Nicole Elizabeth Fritz, cum laude. Tanya Jo Gonder, cum laude. Daryl Ryan Grove. Sally Gay Harker. Leah Marshall Haverall's magna cum laude. Mark Edward Hazelton. Jeremiah Heathcote. Tricia J. Heithoff. Justin Paul Isbell. Stacy Diane Janning. Susan L. Johnson, magna cum laude. Matthew James Lacasse. Amy Renee Lemrick. Ryan P. Lunsford. Kelly Ann Maracle. Sarah Beth McCool. Allison Jean Monsma, cum laude. Jeffrey Allen Niggemeyer. Scott Donald Nolte. Jared Patrick O'Donnell. Matthew Sean Olson. Melanie Nicole Peterson. Sally Amanda Rezebeck. Lynn Ann Rignalda, cum laude. Mary Ann Sherbrock. Rebecca Ann Shaner. Christopher Robert Simon. Kelly Lynn Slizukski. Jed Andrew Spira. Gail Ray Sykes, summa cum laude. Tennis Katrina Tice, cum laude. Ryan David Wickstrom. From the Storm Lake School of Science, Benjamin Thomas Aldrich. Mindy Jo Becker, cum laude. Melinda Ann Bedford, magna cum laude. Ruth Marie Bias, summa cum laude. Andrew John Borst. Jeffrey Joseph Brennan. Colleen Janelle Berichter, summa cum laude. J.D. Campbell, cum laude. Kyle F. Colbert. Casey N. Cook, magna cum laude. Scott Allen Kopic. Elijah Philip Frakes, magna cum laude. Lexi Laurel Franzine, magna cum laude. Michael David Harder, magna cum laude. Brandon James Jacobson. Kathy Lynn Jeffrey. Michael A. Junker, magna cum laude. Stacy Megan Keenan, cum laude. Sherry Leanne Kaiser, magna cum laude. Nathan Ryan Less. Dana Lynn Mace. Chad Michael Niemeyer. Tanya Nicole Nold, cum laude. Nathan Russell Payne. Richard Bruce Peters, summa cum laude. Bristol Dennis Preeb, summa cum laude. Andrew K. Putman. Blue Daniel Rydasel. David Mark Shorbrun, magna cum laude. From our Lakes and Prairie Center School of Business, Stephen Joseph Bieland, Jr., magna cum laude. Roger F. Doyle, cum laude. Marilyn Ann Johnson Grice. Rod L. Jensen, magna cum laude. Kiana L. Johnson. Keith Lane Ostrom, summa cum laude. Robert W. Pex. Melissa Sue Reitz. Brian Matthew Rickards, cum laude. Joyce Ann Sable, summa cum laude. Heather N. De DeYoung Voss. Kelly Ray Weltzin. From our Lakes and Prairie Center School of Social Science, Philosophy, and Religion, Wendy K. Bolte, cum laude. Jack L. Christensen, magna cum laude. Crystal Z. Cook, cum laude. 
Jason Walter DeVos, magna cum laude. Jeremiah James DeVos, magna cum laude. Cheryl K. Edie, magna cum laude. Patrick Frank. Charlene Lynn Howard. Leah Catherine Halsebus. Suzanne K. Larson Jacobson. Lynn Ellen Johnson, summa cum laude. Megan M. Cruz Engledew, cum laude. Brent Thomas Keel. Cindy Rose Samson Putnam. Rebecca Lynn Williams. Lakes and Prairie Center School of Education, Sarah Denise Mittag Deitering. Nicole Marie Lure Foxhoven, cum laude. Jennifer Nicole Grems. Beverly A. Hanna, magna cum laude. Maureen Elizabeth Haroldson, summa cum laude. Renee Susan Mycenaeus Iverson, cum laude. Kathleen Marie Magid Keller. Nicole Ray Erlinson Krager. Kelly Rutherford Olson. Judy R. Prinz, magna cum laude. Darsa A. Saxton. Daryl Keith Smith. Teresa Ann Roth Stofferin, magna cum laude. Jennifer Ann Walker. Catherine Jane Hannah Westfall. Jackie Lynn Worth. Our Lakes and Prairie Center School of Common Arts, Shaylee M. Cullen, summa cum laude. M. Ann Kohlhaus. From our Council Bluff Center School of Business, James H. Cashton. Christopher Ronald Hartwig. Blair Patrick Higgins, cum laude. Phyllis Jean Twifford Cofold. Catherine Elizabeth Matlock. Michael Ladd McIntosh. Carol Ann Meston. Holly Ann Muehlbauer. Donald Albert Mullison. Edward L. Peterson. Laura Irene Sears. Stephen D. Snyder. Council Bluff Center School of Social Science, Philosophy and Religion, Melanie K. Jensen. And from their School of Education, Matthew Scott Alexander. Deborah Lee Bricks, magna cum laude. Tanya Ray Clark. Kimberly Irene Clark Gorman. Sarah Ann Guinan. Ryan Jeffrey Cook. Gary Lee Milborn, Jr. Sheila F. Herney Pike. Sarah Melissa Rios. Matthew Charles Stokely. Roseanne M. Hartwig Anderson, magna cum laude. Tamara L. Bodie. Melanie Diane Bringleson. Nancy M. Burland, summa cum laude. Andrea Kone Eder Duncan. Christopher Bear Harvey. Virginia Lee Mahaffey. Donald L. McCann, magna cum laude. Sherry Lean Kelderman McCann. Christopher H. Miller. Rebecca Eden Coleman Pulling Cum Laude. 
Mandy Rachel Howard Reese. Raylene Ann Hartwig Summerlot, magna cum laude. Patricia Ann Busey Wickham, cum laude. Julie Annette Baker, cum laude. Angela M. Chizik. Elaine B. Peterson, magna cum laude. Monica Marie Heil Boone. Sally K. Lyle Jansen, summa cum laude. Sandra Marie Piat. Jean Marie Shipley, magna cum laude. From our Ottumwa Center School of Business, Stacy Joe Brown. Petsoon Dari. Julie Lynn Greenalk. Mark Allen Hedge. Dwight Raymond Jones, Jr. Melissa K. Saylor. Brett James Trakel. Our Ottumwa Center School of Social Science, Philosophy, and Religion, Dawn Lynn Benjamin. Jill Marie Boros Hoover. Swavomir Cheslaw Bladowski. Nancy Rose Kumado, magna cum laude. Rebecca Jo Kelso Karhoff, summa cum laude. Joyce Catherine Cooper, cum laude. Michael James Dixon. Jean Lynn Murray Fraser, magna cum laude. Misty May Gerdum Davis. Heather Lynn Higginbotham. Lewis Stewart Jordan. Andrea Lee Kelly. Carrie Ann Moog. Heather Renee Perkins Mormon. Elizabeth Ann Ponce. Linda L. Richardson. Sean Carl Veenstra. The Ottumwa Center School of Education, Kathy Jo Bibby. Sandra Christine Brazil, cum laude. Carrie Melissa Bunnell, summa cum laude. Dawn Lori Swanson Coy. Gary Dean Garls. <laughs> Kathy Ain Paulovich Houston. Cum laude. Derek James Hugan. Carrie Jean Smothers, magna cum laude. From our Mason City Center School of Business, Peggy Ann Boonstra. Marty Lynn Schultz Delgado. Joshua David Enabnit. Becky Lynn Fritcher. Lori Ann Grand George. 